Bitcoin crushes $23,000 as of today, December 17th, 2020. In fact, that is a brand new all-time high. Look, it's historic. That is a historic new high for Bitcoin. It has never been at, at $23,000 during the entire course of its history, but I think that's just the beginning. Hang on, we're gonna dig into this and we're gonna ask the question, how high can it really go? Could it hit 100,000, 200,000, 400,000? Where would the limit be to hit by December, 2021? Let's see what the experts have to say. So let's get into it. So my YouTube channel is going to give you ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. Can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash that like button. It really helps us out in a big way. Now I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. This is my opinion. And I want you to know cryptocurrency involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for every investor. Now this paragraph I've, I've uh, outlined in green is an excellent paragraph for any investment that you're taking, but especially for cryptocurrency. And so always be on your guard, be very careful and only risk money you can afford to lose. Now, Citibank, an analyst at Citibank has written a report. The report was sent off to uh, investors and that report claims that this analyst believes Bitcoin could pass $300,000 by December, 2021. Now imagine that for a second. Here's a group of investors who are customers of Citibank. Citibank is one of the world's largest banks. It's a huge bank in the United States. It's very, very conservative. Citibank has lots of different customers all over the place, and they send out this report to their investors. These are the people that they really want to take care of. They prize these people's opinion. Now, why is it that Citibank is telling these people that they think Bitcoin could hit $300,000 by December, 2021. That's in 12 months. And for Bitcoin to go from where it is today, around 23,000 to 300,000 is actually a 15 X return. Think about that. What investment banker is going to tell people that they can get 15 times their money in 12 months. Well, that's what's happening right here with this statement from Citibank. So the question begs itself, is Citibank the only ones? Are they the crazy ones on the corner? Or are there other people, analysts, institutions that are making the same kind of prediction? If you get out to Google and you start searching for Bitcoin predictions 2021 or just Bitcoin predictions, you're going to find a whole bunch of people claiming that Bitcoin is going to go to $200,000, $300,000, by December 2021. One of the most common reasons they say is because of something called stock to flow ratio. And the easy way to talk about stock to flow ratio is to first start talking about gold. Stock to flow ratio is a way to measure how how um, scarce gold is. And what they're doing is they're looking at how much new gold is coming out of the ground and how much gold already exists in the world. Now today, the gold stock to flow ratio is 62. That means it will take 62 years for the amount of gold that they find on a yearly basis to replace the gold that already exists. And with Bitcoin, its stock to flow ratio is 50. But let's take a closer look. These blue lines right here, here, and here is what's called the Bitcoin halving. And so every four years, approximately, because it doesn't hit exactly at four years, 
It depends on how quickly blocks are created. Blocks are created on the blockchain, the Bitcoin blockchain, at about one block for every 10 minutes. And so miners get rewarded every time a block is created. Now, originally back in this time period, before this blue line, uh, Bitcoin uh, miners got 50, block, 50 Bitcoins for every block they found. And then during this period to this period, they were getting 25. And from this period to this period, they were getting 12 and a half. Now this line here represents May of 2020. And so from starting at May of 2020, they're now down to six and a quarter Bitcoins per block. In other words, it's been cut in half again. So what does this mean for the stock to flow ratio? This is why it's currently at 50. And in four years from now, the Bitcoin stock to flow ratio will, it will be at 100. And it, really what that number means is how many years would it take to replace all of the existing Bitcoin or all the existing gold based on what's getting created or found? So with, my, with gold miners, how much gold do they get every year and how many years would it take for them to replace all the existing gold? Currently, that's 62 years. With Bitcoin, how much new Bitcoin is getting found? Now that it's been cut in half uh, right as of May 2020, it would take them 50 years to replace all of the Bitcoin. And then in 2024, it'll take 100 years to replace all the Bitcoin. And in 2028, it's going to take 200 years to replace all the Bitcoin. And so something that makes Bitcoin extremely unique is every four years, it gets twice as scarce. Its stock to flow ratio doubles because the miners get half as much uh, Bitcoin every time they create a new block and add that block to the blockchain. Now, what happens with these, what happens with these uh, halvings is you can see they have a tendency to spark a bull run. And, you know, just as, as, you've, prob as you've probably heard, supply and demand is how they measure a lot of things. And when supply goes down and demand goes up, price tends to rise. And when supply goes up or demand goes down, price tends to go down. And so the green blocks are periods where Bitcoin went up dramatically. The red blocks are where Bitcoin went down dramatically. Now here's the interesting thing. If you look at Bitcoin going from the low right here to this high point, that is a 100x increase. So you can see over here that this low point is right around $10 and this high point is at $1,161. And so that's 100 times 100x your money. So for every dollar you had invested into Bitcoin right in this period of time back in 2012, by the time it hit... Um, that is November of 2014, uh, one year later, it was every dollar you had invested was now worth $100. So it went up 100X in that period of time. Now that was the first halving that Bitcoin ever went through. Here's the second halving that Bitcoin went through and you can see the low point was actually down here and when you go across for that low point, it's actually right around $200. And the high point is this point right here, which actually comes out to $19,500. So basically, it also did a 100 times or 100x return during this bull run that happened right after the July 16th um, halving. Now we just had a halving here in May 2020 and you can see that um, when you look at these bull runs, the number of months after the halving where it actually exceeds the previous all-time high is about seven, eight months, somewhere in that ballpark. Well, it happened again right at about the same time. And so this current uh, market hit 
and broke the all-time high almost at exactly the same time it did back in the July 16th to, uh, I'm not sure what date that is. That would be really early, yeah, like January 2017. That's about January 2017 when it broke through the previous all-time high. And you can see from there, it just went skyrocketing from, you know, back here, it was worth $750 right around July 1 and skyrocketed all the way up to $19,000 in about a year. And so this bull run from the lowest point all the way to the highest point is again, a hundred times your money. Every dollar became worth a hundred dollars and it happened within just a couple of years. Well, we're about to experience the same thing. So the real question is the low point for uh, Bitcoin during this last cycle, the last four year cycle, the low point was $4,000. Now, if it does another 100X, that means that Bitcoin is gonna come really close to $400,000 if it does another 100X like it has previously. So could it hit $400,000? Could Citibank have missed it by 100K? I don't think any of their investors would care. They would just pocket the money and go home. Only time will tell what's actually going to happen. But when you look at everything that's happening with cryptocurrency, watch the video I made on wealth transfer. Um, it, it's a video I made about a week, two weeks, three weeks ago, somewhere in that, but it's about two weeks ago or a week ago. Um, that video digs in deep into all the different reasons why Bitcoin is, is possibly going to go up farther this time around than the last time uh, back here in 2016. And it has to do with mass adoption, but not just mass adoption by retail investors. I mean, with PayPal announcing that PayPal customers can now buy Bitcoin right off of PayPal, that's 300 million new customers that can access Bitcoin that could never access it before. Um, but the, the, one of the big things is, is, is institutional investors. In that video uh, that I made a couple of weeks ago on wealth transfer, uh, we talked about how there's over, the institutions are actually using Bitcoin to preserve their uh, treasury. Now, historically, those companies uh, used dollars in banks, U.S. dollars in U.S. banks for their treasury. But currently, there's over 15 billion. Yes, that's right. B with a billion, uh, billion with a B, uh, dollars that have been transferred out of corporation treasuries into Bitcoin in order to preserve wealth. There's a lot of other uh, uh, businesses and corporations and institutions and large investors that are doing the very same thing all the way from Harvard to many, many others. So anyway, I've gone on too long. Let me kind of wrap this up. Um, I've spent two years writing. I'm a computer programmer by trade. I've been doing computer programming for 20 years and I finally found, I finally refined and fine tuned my computer program to tell me when to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. It evaluates 80 cryptocurrencies every day, and I've set up on eToro the ability for people to copy my trades. And so eToro's copy trader feature is really simple to use. All you have to do is click this copy button right here, and then tell eToro how much money you want to follow or copy my trades with. And every time I buy or sell cryptocurrency, it'll automatically make the same exact trade proportionately in your account. So whether you invested $100, I'm sorry, $200 is a minimum that eToro will let you invest, but whether you invested $200 or $200,000, the same percentage that I, I buy whenever I buy or sell cryptos will be bought or sold in your account if you're doing a copy trader. And with the last, uh, one of the best trades we've had since October 14th, 2020, 
was XRP and we made 187% on that trade in 49 days. Pretty spectacular. The algorithm used mind numbing math and it runs through thousands of mathematical calculations for every recommendation it makes. If you wanna find out more about uh, that algorithm and how to follow me on eToro, then go to eToro.com slash people slash luminate algo trader that's l-u-m-i-n the number eight a-l-g-o t-r-a-d-e-r um, and for a limited time eToro is going to give you a fifty dollar bonus to get the fifty dollar bonus just follow this url to get to eToro and go ahead and use that link to sign up on eToro and as long as you deposit $200 or more into your eToro account and then use that $200 or more to follow me as a copy trader, uh, eToro will give you a $50 bonus within about 30 to 45 days. Somewhere in the 30 to 45 days uh, ballpark, they will deposit $50 into your account. So be sure to take advantage of that. That'll only be good for the first 10 people. And so far, eToro has not, as of today, December 17th, 2020, um, eToro has not paid out any of these $50 limited offers. And so you'll wanna be the first one. Um, in conclusion, I wanna say thank you so much for watching the video. How can I be of service to you? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Even if you disagree with what I said, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your polite disagreements. And in the meantime, I hope that you will like, subscribe, and hodl. And do me a favor, have a fantastic day.